Good morning, my dear students. So today we will be looking at how to write a sentence. These days, uh, I have been giving you um, write five sentences about your mother and write five sentences about a certain topic. So today we will be discussing how you can write a sentence or what are the main uh, important parts of a sentence. Let's get started. So first of all. Do not be sad or disheartened when you are not able to frame a sentence, when you are not able to write, it's okay. Um, I will be helping you through this and all of us can write and with practice and with proper guidance, you will be able to write. So here I have uh, given you three points to look at. First, are uh, these are the letters, it's just the basic in introduction I'm just giving you. And the number two are the words like top, job, walk. These are the words. And sentences. Here are some examples. She runs very fast. I am going to school. So these are the sentences. Letters, words, sentences. So that you are clear the difference between letters, words and sentences. Now what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that convey a complete sense. Now you may have some words together but if it doesn't make any sense then it's not a sentence but a group of words which come together to make a complete sense then it is called a sentence. Now uh, some of the important things that you should always um, see in a sentence is it should always begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop, a question mark or an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. So this is, you should keep in mind when you write a sentence, it should always begin with a capital letter and uh, it should always end with a full stop if it is a simple sentence and question mark if it is an interrogative sentence and exclamation mark if it is an exclamatory sentence. So in the previous videos, I have been teaching you about the sentences and the types of sentences like uh, interrogative sentence and exclamatory sentence etc. So these are some of the very important uh, things that you should keep in mind when you are writing a sentence or when you are reading a sentence. Okay, here we go. So some of the main things that you should keep in mind when you are writing a sentence or even when you are reading a sentence that it has three parts. Subject, verb and object. Now I will be telling you what is a subject, verb and object. It is very easy. You have been learning the, these topics from uh, a very long time and I hope you, you shouldn't be confused in these uh, three terms. Now what's a subject? A subject is a person, place or a thing that the sentence is, is about. So when you read a sentence, when you see that the, sub, uh, the uh, sentence is talking about a particular person or place or a thing in the sentence now that is the subject whatever we are talking about the main part of the sentence now verb now what is a verb I hope you all understand this topic verb a verb is a kind of a word that tells us about an action whatever action is happening in the sentence that is the verb now what's an object? The object of a sentence is a person or a thing that receives the action of the verb. Now whoever receives the action of the verb in the sentence is the object. Now we will be looking at um, looking up at one example so that you understand it better. The dog barked at the man. Now here subject is the dog who is doing the action and barked what is the dog doing he is the dog is sorry the dog is barking and this barking is the verb and who is receiving the action of the dog the man because the dog is barking at the man so here in the sentence we are talking about a dog which is the subject what is the subject doing the subject is doing an action which is called a verb and whoever receives the action 
is the object and in this sentence the whoever is receiving the ob uh, action of the dog is the man i hope you have understood uh, this structure of the sentence and there are many ways to write a sentence but i'm just telling you the basic part of the sentence that how you should keep in mind when you start a sentence start with capital letter end with a full stop exclamation mark or a question mark when you write a sentence complete sentence should have a subject a verb and an object and just keep in mind keep it simple when i give you any kind of exercise any kind of uh, lines that i give you to write or maybe i give you a picture and you have to write about the picture just keep it very simple and uh, simple sentences short sentences and gradually you will be able to frame a proper sentence and also frame a paragraph and even write an essay i hope uh, this video has been helpful to you and we'll be coming up with more videos to help you and encourage you to write in a better way so thank you very much for watching this video